Once circuits have been defined and connected to a panel, you can create panel schedules and add those panel schedules to sheets. To create a panel schedule, switch to the Analyze ribbon. In the Reports and Schedules panel, there is a Panel Schedules tool. When you click this tool, Revit displays the Create Panel Schedule dialog. This dialog displays all the panels in the project. You can simply check the adjacent checkbox next to a panel to create a panel schedule for that panel. You can also use the Select All and Clear All buttons at the bottom to help select the panels. At the top, you can see that panel schedules are created using the default templates. Select only panel PP-A and then click OK. Once you do, a panel schedule is created for panel PP-A and it is the current active view. In the Project Browser, in the Panel Schedules branch, you can see that Panel Schedule PP-A has been created. If needed, you can change the Panel Schedule name in the Properties palette. With the Panel Schedule as the active view, the ribbon is a Modify Panel Schedule contextual ribbon. There are several tools here to help you control the Panel Schedule. First, in the Template panel, you can click Change Template to open the Change Template dialog. In this project, there are not any custom panel schedule templates. But once you have panel schedule templates, you can use this dialog to select them. Click Cancel to close the dialog. You can also use the Rebalance Loads tool to redistribute the loads in order to make the load as equal as possible on each face. When a row is selected in the panel schedule, you can use the Move Up, Move Down, Move Across, and Move To tools to change the circuit number. The Move To tool allows you to move a circuit to an open slot without affecting other circuits. When you use one of the other Move tools, you will also move another circuit if it is occupying a slot that the selected circuit is being moved to. When you select an open panel slot, you can use the Assign Spare tool to mark the open slot as a spare, or use the Assign Space tool to mark an open slot as a space. For example, select an open slot and click Assign Spare. Then select the row below that and click Assign Space. Now when one of these slots is selected, the Remove Spare Space tool becomes available. Additionally, there is a Lock Unlock tool that can be used to lock a circuit, spare, or space into a specific slot, or unlock a locked slot. When you drag your cursor to select a spare and a single pole circuit, the Group Ungroup tool becomes available. This tool can be used to group single pole circuits and spares together to act as a multi pole circuit. When you select a grouped circuit, clicking this tool will ungroup the circuit. Next, if you rename circuits, you can use the Update Names tool to update the names of circuits on panel schedules. Lastly, the tools in the text panel can be used to modify the text used in the panel schedule. Also, realize that you can click in several of the fields in order to modify the values in that field. For example, you can click in any of the circuit description fields in order to modify the circuit description. You cannot modify any of the loads, though. As you can see, Receptacles have been assigned to this panel, and they are currently indicated by the space that they are in. So you may want to make sure that the space name and numbers match the architectural room names and room numbers, or you can change the description as needed. Looking at the panel schedule, there are four parts. The header, circuit table, load summary, and footer. When you scroll down to the Load Summary area, you can see the Load Classification, Connected Load, 
demand factor, and so on. In order to manage panel schedule templates or edit panel schedule templates, switch to the Manage ribbon. In the Settings panel, there is a Panel Schedule Templates button. In this dropdown, there are two options, Manage Templates and Edit a Template. Click Manage Templates. This opens the Manage Panel Schedule Templates dialog. There are two tabs here, Manage Templates and Apply Templates. On the Manage Templates tab, you can select a template type and panel configuration to see the templates of that type and configuration. The panel configuration is only available for the branch panel type. You cannot select a configuration for a data panel or switchgear. With the type selected, the templates appear in the templates list. You can use the buttons at the bottom to edit, duplicate, rename, or delete the template. However, you cannot delete the default template. If you had more than one template, you could select which template is the default. Switch to the Apply Templates tab. Once again, you can select the template type and panel configuration to filter the panel types. However, on this tab, the panel schedules that are created in the project appear in the list, and you can then select a template to apply. Click Cancel to close the dialog. Now switch back to the Manage ribbon and expand the Panel Schedule Templates dropdown. This time, click Edit a Template. Revit displays the Edit a Template dialog. Once again, you can filter the templates by type and panel configuration. Then when you select a template in the list, you can click Open. Revit then goes into Modify Panel Schedule Template mode. You can use any of the tools available here to modify the panel schedule template. When you are finished editing the template, click Finish Template. 